Randall says he's dead, so that's a start. That's not great. No, he says uh, he says that at the talk of every beginning. No, he usually says till all are dead, doesn't he? And it says are all dead. It's the reference to that cover. Well, and, yeah, but in summary, that's why I hate children. So now he's saying I am dead. So it's a little, it's a little different. So hey guys, um, hey uh, hey Ron, hey Carrie. Uh, welcome and uh, hey Randall. So welcome to the show and to everyone else that's watching right now. So uh, TFOP microcasters, I've got Anna with me. As always. Who doesn't actually have the figure? Uh, I've got Rob. Howdy, howdy. Apparently, I signed on for all six. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Look at you, you're a, you're a bonus member. Yeah. There, there you go. Halfway, so, halfway done after time. Rob just happens to like keep getting the figures that we're featuring on microcasters, which didn't well, happen I mean, in the past. But somehow now, now that there's like nothing actually coming out, somehow. <laughs> well, the, the sequence is a set. That are coming out. You know, that's six at once. You know, it is. Just kind of how it rolled. <laughs> Yeah. For most did people. you get did you get MP plus sites or not sites up with smoke screen? Yes. Yes, it's in my pile of loot at Big Bad. I haven't shipped it yet. Because uh-huh. I'd I'd shipped like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Or a couple weeks before it came in stock or something like that. I wanna talk about that soon. You need to get it shipped. <laughs> well it'll probably take yeah. Big Bad like a month to get it to me. Right. They are so if you, slow. If you click ship today, then it might be here in a, a month from now. So Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, let's get started. Talking about this. What is it, a lobster? Oh, so I'm here. Hi, I'm Christian. Oh, man, oh she's yeah, Christian, Christian yet? Of course. Nope, so, y'all skipped yeah. me. No, Thanks a Christian's lot. Christian's always I'll here. Really Christian. No, hey, Christian's we, we got important. through. Sorry, Christian. We got through three out of four introductions. That's better than last night's TFLP. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fair point. I think we got um, yeah, We've yeah, tried we our own microcasters on being better than TFLP. By being hey, last night's last <laughs> night's episode <laughs> had a, a fun <laughs> recipe for drinks or something. I don't know. And God, it did. Yeah. So. <laughs> I listened. I listened. <laughs> anyway, so. I usually don't listen. Wow! Look, look at you. <laughs> no, I did. It's a Maybe, I Maybe I don't. Yeah. There's <laughs> a lobster. <laughs> what did I do with one of my guns? My guns are. Is this, is this a gun for? No, this is a gun for the other guy, right? No. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Uh, is, is this one of his guns? No. Damn. Yeah. Mine's in combined mode on my shelf. I took this off just for the show, so you're welcome. But I, I didn't bother to like dismantle the guns and crap. I, I have my limits. What gun <laughs> am I missing? Uh, the black Which... one that looks like the painted one you just had. The combined mode is still a spoiler for this show. <laughs> yeah, and the hey, and the, the tail. And the the combined the combined mode may happen. Oh, is this is this it right here? Is this the tail? That's the tail. Yep. Okay. Watch the tail. Some and some gamers out there get that tight. reference. There it is in lobster mode. <laughs> There you, I'll take the guns off so you can see the lobster a bit better. Boom! Lobster. He's green. He's got a long tail. I love the look of this. Get him. Oh, yeah. No, it's absolutely... Yeah, he's a great lobster. He's got lobster. a scary, scary face with an opening mouth. Arr. His claws are super cool. Is it too scary for children's toys? <laughs> no. I, 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 think it may, I think it's too scary. That's... It's too scary. I'm going to write my congressman. And we're going to get ERSRB ratings. It's happening. Is it three, three spooky, five you? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I actually really did like uh, <laughs> I think this is a new part, right? His hand claw thingies. It's I based believe... on the block claws, but it's yeah. a new part. I haven't played with the toy in a while. But yeah, I do like how those uh, fold around. The, I think the it's inside fun. hand bits are old. So right here. So yeah. a small part of the claw. Yeah, it transforms old, just like Blot's hands. Okay. The I just did his hands. The Blot is different though, right? This is Blot, right? Yeah. yeah. These these are these are different than this. The one. outside claws are, but the inside claw seems to be similar. 
Yeah, no, I thought the, the inside sugar. was the same. The inside is the same, but the outside is different. Right. Yeah. That's what Christian said. Sorry, That's exactly I, what I said. I am. Don't mind me. I'm I'm on a different show apparently. Just just keep ignoring <laughs> Christian. Whatever. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Who was so, that? So, guys, um, Ron in the chat is suggesting that we put uh, a schedule out of all the figures that we're doing. I feel like I covered so, that uh, pretty well. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's pretty much good good response there. So, a schedule of of which figures we're going to cover on this show. Right, Ron, I would love to. I have tried multiple times to get these guys we, to make a schedule. I've even made it a schedule. Twice. Yeah, but then, then only I know about the schedule, and only I try to follow the schedule. Someone I, has to know. And I'm I just, terribly organized as a person. I try to get at least a few hours heads up so I can make a, a thumbnail card. <laughs> and I do good to get that on any of our shows. So It really <laughs> we the, appreciate the, it. The, yeah, no, thank you for, for doing that. Um it really comes down to like some of the figures that we're getting in. So like there's times where, you know, say we might want to do, you know, this figure or whatever, but someone's getting a shipment. Like you were mentioning Rob about big bad that, you know, say if you click ship on smoke stream, well, you don't know if he's going to be there next week. Maybe yeah. it's going to be there. Maybe it won't be. And so that's kind of the issue that we end up having uh, as to why why we can't. Cause What's the most things, interesting thing that everyone actually has come Tuesday? Yeah, because I mm. really want to say, let's do smokescreen next week. But now I it's like, Rob doesn't have his yet. So I, I mean, to be honest, I'm not going to get mine soon. So let's just do it, it. It's the only one in my pile of loot. And I'm going to wait till <laughs> a batch of other stuff comes in before I ship. You so guys it'll, own the mold. So it's like yeah. all three of us have it, kind of. Yeah. That's true enough. I mean, I feel like between pictures and the fact that I mean, I've, I mean, all of us have probably owned how many copies of that mold? So I think five because I bought the originals and then I've been replacing them with the anime versions that come out. So yeah, it's not a lot new. But anyway, I, th I think really the question is, is like you know, getting it in hand. Like you never know, like the Q any QC issues that you're gonna have on each figure, like everyone yeah. varies like i mean again like this this figure that it you know that's there really could be the possibility that, that something's messed up or whatever on it's know, to see the qc stuff. issues and like the new accessories do they fit do they work well do they look good in in hand in person do they come out as they were pictured you know it's kind of things of that nature so you know and one's again, better than none Kristen had showed off on this figure the Love accessories there. are 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 pretty nice so like mm -hmm. again they've got that like yeah, pinkish hued paint on there you've got your black gun the black gun which has lobster tail. ports all over it i mean i guess the guns combine in combine mode but i haven't been there yet so don't tell me but yeah the uh, axe is again that pink hue which is very cool it's very subtle it's very subtle but it's it's, it's there very it's, subtle. Nice. it's good done the new tail piece is really cool. This is what it looks like as a gun. This yeah. is what it looks like as a tail. So you just kind of <coughs> flip it around like that. Like that. Boom. Tail. Gun. So do the others actually like the lobster mode? I'm just curious. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Mode. No, it's... Yeah, it's cool. Um, I don't... I'm not wild about the uh, armatures for his lobster legs. Like... No. No. You're right. It's, it's not amazing. It's fine. In robot mode, it does peg in well, and, you know, it collapses over, and that actually holds pretty well. In lobster mode, I want to say it was a little not super great, tabby any. Am I, am I right, right on that? So you're correct. They tab into these holes on the chest right here. They're more indentations than holes. Yeah, those aren't even They're really They're leftover from blot, and with all the remolding that's done on this figure, I would like to have seen those deepen so you could actually plug the legs in there. Because what the legs do... They have this tab right here that plugs into those indentations on the chest, and it's just not deep enough to actually plug in. I mean, they, they slide around, they don't stay in place, which is very bad. The idea is there, the execution is not. Yeah, here we go. I've got one. So, yeah, it yeah, just, there you go. It just, yeah, it just kind of rests it, it kinda in there. It kind of rests, yeah. 
it, but it doesn't. It's not like click. Now in robot mode, it's a nice click. See, I wonder though why yeah, it's they click. why they did it that way. You know, like was it something to where like at, they didn't realize it until after they put the paint on and they're like, oh wait, like this isn't as deep <laughs> as what we thought. Like, I mean, that might be kind of what it comes down to uh or maybe again maybe. like it might be something where they're worried about paint rub and so they said oh well we're just gonna make it so that it doesn't you know pig in 100 percent." so oh so uh, maybe yeah i don't know i mean i think the one thing i think is kind of cool just is like the, it's an extra part like and it flips around like you know it, it, it's something that like it's an extra touch uh, with the figure and they probably could have done something crappier like i'm sure hasbro would have co- figured out a way to you know make it less parts count and, and whatnot and not tab in as well so i i do appreciate that they you know the way that they flip around and they're you know they're pinned in and kind of you know whatever yeah they, around they lock around. in here yeah, really, really well. well really yeah. well but like like lucas was mentioning the piece that it locks into here, right here, right there, that's not painted. That's just plastic. So maybe it is a paint thing that they they didn't want to mess up the paint. And speaking of paint, he has a, a healthy amount of little accents and stuff all over him. Like his, his the front of his feet are painted. His knees got the little red. He's got the red and the blue on his waist. And then his lobster claw, all of the light blue is paint. All that's paint. Yeah. Because it's actually a black piece when you look inside. Right. Well, I think it's interesting as you like. And yellow you, eyes and tampos. When you look in, if I can like get this, when you look inside the, you can actually tell. I don't know if I can pick it up on camera, but like, uh, you can actually tell there's like overspray like inside mm-hmm. the the black or whatnot, and so I don't know. I I don't really notice that too much on most of the figures, but I, I did notice it on this because it's like, you know, the, the <laughs> colors. Bless you. Hi. He has a wonderful head sculpt, too. This head sculpt is tight. It might be my favorite head sculpt of this whole batch so far. Like the robot head sculpt? The yeah. robot head sculpt. Okay, because the one on Blot I was just looking at is not so great. So it's nice to see a good one. I like Blot's classes. Mm. Well, the, the only thing I grabbed out for comparison was uh, TFC's Nautilator, who is also a wonderful lobster boy. But, you know, give you an idea of size. You know, it's typical Hasbro Deluxe. You, you know what size you're getting here. One thing that the TFC Nautilator has that this one is solely, sorely missing is he doesn't have the mustache, which is just mm-hmm. the silliest, coolest thing that this little guy has. But yeah, thought I'd talk about that briefly. Colors are so, way different. So one question well, I have, and I probably, you know, should wait until we have it combined. But like, if you rob like between the tfc set and this set if like which one would you buy like if you could only buy one uh, i think it's an impossible question it depends on what you're going for they're so different like i still haven't combined my tfc set because i enjoy their animal mode so much mm-hmm. yeah you know it's so, like i just i just never bothered with it well this one these take are way quicker to combine it's a lot less of an you know effort you know to go through it or whatever but the, the animal modes on the TFC ones are just excellent. They're they're so good. So you know, the, and it's just completely different. I don't know what the TFC costs on the aftermarket these days. I assume if it's like most of that era third party combiners, the answer is not near what it was at retail. But you know, they could have trimmed down production numbers by then. So I don't know what the cost is on it. Um, so I think it's only down a little bit. Okay, so it kind I don't of think it's down better. as severely as the other ones are, but it's still down a little. Okay. I mean, I feel like that most of them, like if they do, if there's one third party combiner, you know, like it's not going to go down as much as if there's like, like Devastator or whatever, where there's like five. Because it's yeah. like the and best. And the Takara one <laughs> and right. Hasbro one. Right. There's like, what, two versions the... of this in third party? No. There's only just one. Just the one. one? Just okay. the one. It was just a TFC one. But like. It got repainted a whole bunch of times, but. Yeah. Other the that, best yeah. version usually is the one that like stays up in value for the most part. Right. Like yeah, I mean, and Devastator this, is still not has not went down. But like this I'm sure is like what half the cost of the TFC one, at least at retail. Probably. You know, it's as far as like 
a Hasbro slash Takara mainline release of Piranicon, he's great. You know, he's using the Combiner Wars design, and they've done really great things with it. But it's still a Combiner Wars design. When you combine them together, you know it's a Combiner Wars figure. Um, you know, like I said, mine's had issues standing up. At first I thought it wasn't so bad, but then it got worse again. <laughs> and it's like, oh, great. Hooray. Yeah, you mentioned it's problems standing up, I think, back when But, but did, I thought um, I had worked it out. Turtler. Yeah, I thought I'd worked it out, and we even talked about it on Ouch My Wallet a week or two ago, or at the last show two weeks ago. But, yeah. Um, but, I don't know. Individually, they're all great. and say that much, at least. You know, and I don't think he's any different. Again, they're Combiner Wars figures. But, you know, they have that extra touch of a lot of unique parts, and there's a lot of paint that I don't think you would get if Hasbro had released it. And, you know, weapons and all those goodies. Yeah. They, they are Combiner Wars at their core, but they have a lot of extra love in them, which is great. Yeah. And there's six of them instead of five. Yep. All right. So, Blot is... Blot is okay. How many improvements does this thing have over Blot, would you say? I mean, obviously, I a lot it's, of paint, it's, like... I mean, there's just so much remolding that it's not... I don't know. Yeah, it's basically a different figure. I mean, it uses some of the same cues, like the chest is the same, the the hands are the same, but everything else is different. It uses different legs, it uses a different transformation scheme. Um, it definitely has a very different, um, different alt mode, mode for sure. <laughs> yeah. We don't get a lot of lobster boys. Or whatever blot is. <laughs> you a nose monster. Nose monster works. He's not really much to anything. It's a nose. Nor has he ever been. Oh, he's a nose. That's what he is. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. They had no, Ron saying that the if you want. Ron was saying the reverse part in here looks like a, a tongue. You know, that's the opposite of his combiner port. So it makes it a kind of a bump out. It doesn't look like a tongue in person to me, but at least they painted it red. You know, again, that's another, right. you know, one of those Takara touches. Yeah. Like, I see where he's coming from. To me, it just looks like a it's block a, it's in there. It's a mouth. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's a block on but, the other side of a five millimeter hole. Five millimeter. Yeah. But he has painted. a ton of ports all over him, which is kind of cool. Because he's in robot mode, he's got, of course, his hands, but he's also got uh, the one that's left over from his lobster head right here. And then it opens up another one on this armature right here. I guess that's for weapon mode, I think. And you can plug his extra gun on his back like that. He only has so many hands. Yeah, if you. And then uh... all of his guns have extra ports. So I guess he must be like the anchor of combining the combined my weapons you know and, and so like that's one of the things i complain about like so the masterpiece figures where it comes with like a box full of accessories but a lot of the figures like there's nowhere to put it all like whereas like these figures it's, you know since they have so many ports and all that you can like put them wherever on the figure which is nice like you actually yeah they're doing the a storage. decent job with storage things it's such a simple thing to accomplish it's just put a bunch of ports and we'll just pick them on it's fine right that's all i gotta do i don't ask for much we'll put them someplace i mean but the storage for the hands and feet aren't necessarily the best but you can do it and it looks okay which is a lot to, to say for figures of this size i'd say the storage of the feet like you're talking about the feet on um on turtler right on snap trap yeah those get a little preposterous, like putting those feet anywhere on him in robot mode. And in turtle mode, they look pretty ridiculous too, but the turtle mode can't be saved. I love this turtle mode. I'm glad. I'm glad. It probably loves you back. Good. You seem to also like this lobster mode. I definitely think the lobster looks neater than the robot from a distance here. Yeah, no, you should definitely get it, Anna. As these figures no, thanks, are like I'm going good. in sale on um, Hasbro Pulse, like they keep <laughs> coming in stock. So you should definitely bite the bullet. 
I am curious like how many Michael. people who passed on the set are going to buy it just because they have nothing else to buy right now and know where to go. Um, I'm curious how many people will buy it. There's there's other stuff that's showing up. Like I think the whatever the new wave of movie figures is starting to. Um, I don't know. I know Target shipped mine uh, today oh. and, and and stuff like that. So I, I think there's some stuff that's the same, Rob. Yeah, they shipped my scrap. Not the overload yet, though. Overload. It says it's not due until the fall. I don't believe them. That's what it says. My Sentinel and Scrapper have not shipped yet. Well, as most his like would say, it looks like it's suicide for me again. <laughs> so you see me next week. That's what happened. Ron, Ron said in the chat, "Who all is displaying this? Um, not combined." I'm curious. Would this that be like if you were the type of person? who was considering buying two of a combiner so that you could have them in separate modes and also in the combined mode, do you think this would be the set to do it for? Since they yes. have the premium paint apps and yep. they have the upgrades of already competent molds. Yep. I think if the other thing is... I'm is not that, that person. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, the sorry, other thing I, is, I, is there's yeah. so much remolding on this figure that like the molds are unique. So like every other combiner wars combiner, like, you know, how many repaints did you get? And so like that that's where I think that this is this is kind of cool that it's like I don't have another lobster, so Right. I think that makes sense because the like Silverbolt was my favorite combiner wars combiner. But honestly as a display, the four limb guys look so similar to each other that they just don't make a super fun display in robot modes or in plane modes, really, unless you really have a theme for planes. But this is, you know, five or six different animals, which is cooler. So it's yeah, gonna be a good I, choice for that. Yeah, I think it, it all comes down to, do you like animal modes? And, you know, more unique animal modes. You know, so many of uh, Transformers are what? Planes and cars. And, you know, maybe some, like, truck SUV type stuff, you know? We don't get near as many animals, especially like reasonably identifiable, identifiable sea creatures, you know. So having a six uh, in glorious bright colors, I think, is just uh, super fun. So, show me another coelacanth that is not. Um, I got coelacan. That's the Beast Wars two one. <laughs> I don't know what a coelacanth is. I know we talked about it a couple weeks ago, but I've already forgotten. It's the fishy it's a, thing, right? It's a fish, yeah. So, so can we get this repainted into uh, what? What was the um, the lobster figure in R.I.D. the uh, 2015? No. Oh, um, bisque. 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 Yes. Bisque, so yeah. we need to get a generations bisque out of this mold. How about that? It has to have the googly eyes, though. That I just float. want the bisque figure. <laughs> I have the bisque figure. I want that this. Who bisque? Bisque? Yeah, bisque. bisque and Thermal, they're great. Yeah, I really wish I hadn't skipped those guys. Like, I I didn't catch on that they were doing weird ass animal people things that turn into vehicles until it was too late. I should have jumped into that. That is the best part about the RID 2015 line is the Decepticons have like a bunch of goofy animal modes. So it's, it's pretty good. This needs yeah. to get repainted in God Neptune colors, which would be great because Nodulator didn't go to the God Neptune Seacons before. The I don't think it'll happen. That, that character is made away. I think I'm it's going to happen. I'm glad to so. be wrong, but I don't, I don't see it. So the last two times, I based my desire for characters on... Um, on things that were included with the figures and on the card game, I've seemingly been wrong. So if you remember when um, Siege Starscream came out, the fact that they show a head on it that has molded lips, I guess that they were going to make a slipstream. 15 remolds of that thing or repaints of that thing, and we haven't got one. And then I also guessed when the first set 
of the TCG came out that we began a flame war saying, also wrong. So I'm going to assume that we're also not going to get the repaint of this because I actually want it. So, so what <laughs> I very we'll rarely want repaints. Last, last night on TFLP, we did the repaints we never got. So when we revisit that subject in a few years, we'll see, oh, we never did get that Gob Neptune, you know? <laughs> and here is not a later writing TFCs <laughs> with his mustache. By the mustache. <laughs> Uh, um, Rodimus just said in the in the Discord chat that they think that if we, because they're putting the characters from the God Neptune set in the comics, in the Legends comics, then we're surely going to get them. But they killed so them all far, off. Right, but so far that's been, that's been a reliable prophecy. Alive. I guess, are, are they Legion? Super Megatron. Yeah, but no, they come and re- they come and rescue Half Shell. They show up and rescue Half Shell. Yeah, but then we but we saw them all get exploded and they were mad about it. And Pranacon was mad about it. I get, he got better. It was only a flesh. Mad when they're exploded. It's the last panel when Half Shell's yeah. like out on the ground and then the pirates show up and rescue him. Is there one after that that I haven't seen? I, I don't know. It was like TFW's been translating them and just putting them up randomly. And I saw one. I was like, oh well, he's dead. I guess that's not coming out. <laughs> it just so turns out, even with translations, those comics are kind of hard to follow. They're they're a hot mess. They're <laughs> complete and absolute hot. Like they they can be funny because they're they're goofy. They're just it's like literally what a hundred pages worth of story that they cram into five issues or five pages. You know, so it, and it's so over the top or whatever. They're like, a I, lovely hot mess though. They're yeah, so but fun. I. So like, I can see people think you know they're funny to have fun, but I can't see people taking them seriously. That's what gets me. It's like, because they're oh, it's so for bad. Sure, not canon of any sort. Like, there's yeah. no way. It's just nonsense. Yeah. The the question is though is is you know they need to make money on these new molds. So I mean I could see them you know repainting them simply because like I mean this has been a success. As like Ron was saying, you know this sold out. I don't know on Takara Tomi Mall, like, how many sales they got, but, I mean, obviously, like, it's been selling out on Hasbro Pulse and and whatnot, too. So, um, I mean, it, it seems to have sold pretty well. Let's see, I, I don't buy the they need to make their money on it because I think they make their money on it with the initial run. The initial runs have to be profitable. You know, if they can make some more money by redoing it, I think they absolutely will. You know, it's just a finding factory time to do it, you know, along with everything yeah. else that's competing uh, to, is, is it worth it? But, you know, I think if the initial run of a toy doesn't make its money, then they're already in kind of, you know, deep doo doos. I mean, I guess I have no idea like how popular God Neptune is in Japan. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Yeah. So just to continue off our conversation from before, one of our viewers has confirmed that Christian is probably right about them not being dead in the comics and has stated that Rob is possibly delusional, which perhaps might be an it. overstatement, but I like Thank it. you, whichever listener that was. Is this in the Discord? In the Discord. I was going to say, like, <laughs> I, I don't What is Gulf's American name her. before I go crazy? What is Gulf? The Coelacanth. Uh, what's the last one we talked about, guys? I don't know these things. They were just the pretty color things when I was a kid. What, what is what is Gulf's American name? Someone in the chat tell me. It's gonna drive me insane. Me Meanwhile, sorry. I'll tell you guys what coelacanth is. So coelacanth was popular in the '80s because it was a prehistoric fish. Uh, we it, it found fossils of it all over the coast of Africa and throughout the continent of Africa. And fossils like old, old, old fish. But in the '80s. They started showing up a lot scalar. in fishing nets. Thank you, Scalar. Thank you, Rodimus. So, yes. Thank you, Rodimus. Um, so everyone thought the coelacanth was like this old fossil fish, and then poof, they were alive in modern times. It's so crazy. So coelacanths were very popular in, during that period of time, so now there's just more of them. There Another fun the fact about coelacanths, not the figure we're reviewing today. <laughs> Look, man, I didn't get to do it for Scalers. It's true. I'm glad you got to. I'm glad you got to. Rob asked about it again, so I figured I would 
elaborate. Uh, yep. I just posted the image. Apparently, what they did is they killed one of them. I can't tell which one it is, but in the top of the panel, he's crawling, and then two panels later, he explodes. But then you're right. At the end of the comic, it shows one of them coming to them and like, you know, I'll help you out. But because they also show half shell exploding. <laughs> so. Oh no. Apparently, they all get I bet, better. I bet it's the non later one exploding. Damn it. The one that doesn't exist. Oh, got it, because that's right, because he's only five instead of six. Yeah, God, Neptune is. Only five. <laughs> but I'm like I said, the same comic, the me- like they're combined into Piranacon, and they explode, and he goes, Grah! and then, you know, so I, I don't know. It, it's a hot yeah. mess. Five, five figure box set. And then Scylla was showing up to rescue Half Shot. It is a hot mess, but yeah, let's be hopeful with it, because yeah, yeah. that's the sake of toys. Yeah, I mean, I would get it. Like, if they released a God Neptune, I think it'd be fun to have a couple different versions of this, so. I'd absolutely get it. I'm good with one version, and that would be my version. I'd also get a Transformers Club HorrorCon version. It's Halloween. I think they're, I always think they're Halloween color because they came right on Halloween for us. I might actually like that better. They're, they're cute. I, I like those colors better. The canceled Energon that the club did. The canceled Energon one, yes. Yeah. I would buy that. That's probably it. I probably wouldn't buy more than three. That seems a lot at that point. That seems a lot at that point. Though you want all the colors of Devastator, right? The the smaller Devastator that you have? Mm-hmm. All the flavors? I get the yellow one. I get the orange one. Oh, come on, so orange a, one. There's a Diaclone one, if it existed. They only have yellow right now, right? Oh, yellow. I think so. I want the yeah. orange. And green, of course. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like orange Orange is like, nobody does orange for some reason. I love the orange. I don't have a version of orange right now. I only have a version of yellow and a version of green. Entirely different figures, entirely different sizes, of course. But. Hey, if the, if the cool become brave people are listening, small Predaking, please. An orange yes. devastator. I'm Maybe an sure. orange predicate. An orange devastator. If they're listening, they, they quit listening a long time ago. Um, <laughs> so I guess uh, overall, like, would you recommend this figure? Like, if you weren't getting yes. the others, would you recommend it? Yes. As well. Yeah, absolutely. He, he's a fun alternate mode that we don't see ever. And the way it makes it happen with the new parts is really cool. Uh, he's got a great bot mode with a cool head sculpt. He's got lots of accessories. His colors are great because he's like three different colors of green and blue. Uh, yeah, he's awesome. Get him. I think like yeah, you said, actually... the only complaint you could really make is is about the legs not pinging in. About the legs. But, yeah. I mean, it's it's, but it's a paint thing, like you said. It's probably excusable if unfortunate. Yeah. I mean, I'd if you... say that if I hadn't already made the decision to buy just Turtler, I might make the decision to buy just this one because it costs less and it does look cool. My problem with it is the only one I really have nostalgia for is, um oh, what is his name? The one that's a stand-up dinosaur-looking thing with claws. Overbite. Overbite. That's the only one I have nostalgia for. I said it's the only one I had as a kid. See, I mean, okay, this is what I'm thinking, Anna. Okay, so you only bought Turtler, and then you really like this one, too, not a later. So you should go ahead and just get this one. And then you have nostalgia for which one was, again, Overbite? Yeah. Overbite. So you have, And so then you might as well get that one. And then you're, like, halfway into the set already, so you might as well yeah, just clean it. And I don't then, think I would ever combine them, though. Why do you need to combine it? Right, I don't you think I would. Combine it. You can just have your set of Seacons, and they could just be hanging out. And, I could skip uh, the dumb ones. Yeah, so... You could get... I'm, you mentioned today, when when we were preparing the photo, that you wanted to put them in a pot and make it look like they're like seafood medley. You could get yeah. yourself a special pot and have them hang out in there like it's a hot tub. That's, That's something the you bummer would do. when I don't have the figure, is nobody makes a super clever joke about the figure for the week. I have to do it myself. So don't worry. Why, Next time, there will be a super clever joke. 
This is why you need to take the responsibility and, you know, buck up and get the figure. Buy every figure. Yes. Yes, buy them all. So, you know. You guys can just buy the stuff I like. You don't like you this? Once like again, I mean, this like. is a great figure. So. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hate it in hand if I get it, though. You know I will. No, you, you won't. You'll think I mean, its claws are cute. It, obviously, it doesn't have ankle You'll tilt. You'll make it skitter with figure. It, yeah. It's, it's combined worse, so yeah. it doesn't have ankle tilt. So that's, that's unfortunate. But outside of that, I mean, I think it has... It's a I didn't remind myself, thanks to the show tonight, that I do like Blot, so and this I is forgot much better, it. So there you go. I think my dislike of the Abominus set was all based on the um, uh, Sinner Twin and um, what's his name, Bird One. Cutthroat. Cutthroat. There we go. I think it was all based on those two. I didn't really like those two, but I like him. Um, I I like the, the quality overall, I feel like on these figures is better. Like I don't know for whatever reason, I felt like that abominus, like the plastic was a little bit funky. Like not, it wasn't quite as good. I don't know. It just didn't feel as good to me for whatever reason. No, yeah, it's it wasn't. Yeah, I don't know. Something was right wrong. Something's off list. with them. We talked about it yeah. before a little bit on the show, I think, that something just didn't feel as good about Abominus, yeah. even though it was kind of neater than the other ones, because it was clever mm -hmm. clever -er. mm -hmm. clever -er. I don't know. Okay. Something just felt off about it. But Ron in the chat pointed out the reason that I can't go in on this is because I would have to buy another Rebold of Mood Racer. <laughs> <laughs> and in doing so... My sad excuse for a shriveled soul would become even more shriveled and swell. Well, you don't have to get, you could just get five of them. I mean, you can combine I the could. five. I could avoid this. Also, but Tentacle is not a female Transformer, though, so could, could you loop pull yourself female. out of that? You know, I like I'm, Tentacle Monsters. It's, it's a good set. It's a fun set. It's a good set. If you're on the fence like I am and you don't mind the price, go for it. I mean, I feel yeah, the... Go for it quickly, though. They keep doing those stocks, right. but they are small. If these were $20 Siege, Earthrise, whatever, Siege Rise figures, I'd definitely get them. Like, there'd be no hesitation. I'm only a hesitator tot because they are, you know, twice as expensive as Siege Rise figures nearly the only reason i've hesitated otherwise i mean I, I feel the fact that that rob is coming on and is actually praising a mainline figure that that says something about the quality of the figure so i mean it is takara i guess so is it actually more rare for rob to praise a mainline figure than it is for me to that's a great question well the difference is like i just don't buy a lot of the mainline anymore I just straight up pass on, like, I know what it is, and it's not even really, like, necessarily praise or condemn, you know, it's, I know what it is, I understand the, you know, the price they put on them, what they sell for, uh, you know, I know, I know what it is, I get it, and so, you know, I just, they are what they are, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just, most of the time it's not for me, but, you know, Shrimpy Boys is, uh, I have a soft spot for Shrimpy Boys, so I splurged. <laughs> Seems fair, though. Seems like a good one to splurge on. And, and Paul, I, I swear that Rob is not a permanent fixture on this show. It just feels like... <laughs> well, again, I was really excited when the set came in from Collecticon Toys, and I was just like, yo, can I be on the show and talk about it? And he looks like, yeah. And, you know, kind of just meant, well, I guess I got to be on all six. <laughs> and then last week's show, Anna's like, no one else has these figures. Please come on the show. I was like, all right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. I don't think I don't think Rob's going for the Netflix spots, no. right? No, no. And me neither. So it'll be me not e talking about the figures as always. Are you not getting any <laughs> of the Netflix ones? I am getting the Megatron. Is like one day I was feeling sad, and I went and looked to see which ones I could still get, and it was him, and that was the only one I could still get other than the Ultra Magnus garbage, and I went ahead and got it. That's Megatron, the only one I'm Megatron's getting. Megatron's really good. I mean, that was a good. I think that was a good choice. Like, if you're only gonna get one, like, it's 
I want to get the um a hot link the, the sausage the sausage hot link I want to yeah. get hot link as well <laughs> the sausage uh, <laughs> banana storm has a brother the sausage <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's now it's now my head cannon congratulations <laughs> I will fix Rob, you're not all the show anymore. All so, the ring seekers. I'm using, I'm using my Megatron, power. Anna. Are you gonna sell your combat he- hero Megatron? I haven't decided yet because I hate it, but I also love <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, I'll tell I you something. I, it. Something oh, I would come back on for is the super. Megatron too. The super ultra Megatron, or Galvatron, or whatever it is. When that comes out, that's something I would come on for. And again, these are only kind of half mainline. Like, yeah, yeah, you could technically get it through Pulse, but you know, it's it's all the extra effort that Takara is putting into them that makes them more interesting to me. Which also makes them more expensive. Who'd have thought the guy that likes masterpiece toys likes his toys to have more paint and shit on them? Who'd have thought? You know. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I kind of wanted the Megatron just for the Battle Masters, as said in chat, but I. <sighs> I have to admit, I already have Pinpointer. I have the LG Pinpointer. So if I try to use that as an excuse for why I bought it, it doesn't but work. The, the Lionizer, right? The I bought it because I wanted lionizer. that stupid silver nonsense. I looked at that Megatron with the silver paint scheme, all shiny with his scratches and stuff, and I thought, ooh, that actually looks good. And I was which cool. which toy is this? Like, do you have it where you can just pick it up or no? the Netflix one? Oh, oh yeah, actually I do. That she's talking about she that she hates. Oh, the one you hate. Oh. Oh, this garbage. Um. The combat. Oh, one. got it, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, combat. Yeah, okay. Like got it. Yeah. Like, if I was gonna get it's one of the Netflix ones, <laughs> I probably would have gone for the Decepticon Mirage, uh, just because if I'm as I keep whittling down my mainline area, it's the oddities that I find more interesting. And I think that's going to be kind of an oddity. You don't, it's Decepticon Mirage. You know, it's a real character, but it's a thing. It's unique. So that's a little appealing to me, but you know. What about it's so Scrap funny Face? They... Mm-hmm. Eh, <laughs> I mean, I love, I love the toy reflector three pack that they did. And so, you know, I'm just kind of, I'm good. You're welcome. You know, I already got three of that mold. I'm good. I think that it's really funny to me that not it, it was like seriously two weeks ago on one of the shows or two weeks before the reveal of the Decepticon Mirage that we had had a conversation about how Mirage could never come out as a Decepticon because he was the not traitor from the from the traitor episode. So it could never happen and they would never do that. It's like a it's like a company line thing that they would never do it. And next thing you know. <laughs> It's like Whoops. huge purple mirage with the Decepticon signal symbol. It's like fantastic. I agree with Catherine in the chat. That Scrapface <laughs> is going to be the guy who dies in the first episode. <laughs> you might as well just have a red shirt on, so, right? Sounds about right. That's what I think. Okay. His name I is Scrapface. Three of him. Three. The last oh. guy who was introduced as a new character in one of the fictions who was named after Discard, something you wouldn't normally want. Definitely was made just to die. So I can see this happening. I'm trying not to put spoilers, but those who those who know the yeah, story know what I'm talking about. Or it'll uh, be so, a generic. So tomorrow night, like Fine. via com. Tomorrow night, ask my wallet <laughs> at 8:30, uh, 9:30 Eastern on YouTube. So Rob will have uh, some some new guests. It should be fun. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, to see, so uh, check that out, and uh, we'll see what happens with uh, with cut the tape this week. So, I'm sure that'll be interesting as well. So, and then also make sure to check out TF Talk News. Uh, it was a the tenth episode this week, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, so check that out both on YouTube and the podcast feed. And uh, and then of course, fun. I don't remember it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have the um, the Battle Masters to come with Megatron besides you there, Lucas? Um, not beside me. It's like in the other room. I'm sorry. 
I just happen to have this one sitting here, so, but. If I yeah. had it already, I would show you, but I haven't left my house, so I can't go buy it. See, see, the ironic thing is, is, like, for me, like, all the Battle Masters, I, like, have sitting over in a pile. <laughs> and that's like why Anna actually buys the figures. It's for the battle absolutely. Masters. I love the battle masters. Kind <laughs> of. I love oh. their concept. The implementation hasn't been wonderful. The, uh, these ones are nice though. I really like the ones with Hot Link, and I know I'm not showing them off now, but I'm sure we'll review it at some point when everyone else actually yeah. gets the figures. So I look like forward to Sneaky Steve too. Sneaky's gonna be cool. So, yep. Ooh. The sneaky one. Oh, the snake. Oh, the, snake, the, snake. The, the ramp. Slither, Slither Fang is his name. Sure. Slither <laughs> So, are you going to get multiples of, of, the, uh, of the other ramps, Christian? Or just a sound barrier? I, I planned on getting multiples of all the ramps. We'll see how that plan actually goes. Yeah. My ramp master broke. His hip just sheared off. It's a piece of crap. You ate that toy. One? I got two. Uh. <laughs> That's how much I dislike that figure. That's too no. bad. I I still want one. I don't have one. Well, you there you go. Yeah. I My, know it requires meddling and everything. It's so much effort. Mine is uh, still sitting at, at the Chosen Prime because I can't find something else. Do you want one too, Lucas? Uh, I've got no, enough. I, 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 I have spread them out. I'm sitting at Chosen Prime. I just need to ship other stuff to, or whatever, buy other stuff to get free shipping or just buck up and pay the shipping. I don't know. So, yeah, apparently Randall found a couple. Like, that's the thing that's been annoying is, is I haven't actually been able to go out and hunt for, for these, you know, because. Uh, like, I've only gotten stuff when I'm actually going out and, and shopping for groceries. You know, then I'll, like, take a peek in the toy aisle, but that's it. Even in all those times when I've had to get groceries and stuff, I've never seen a sound barrier. No, I haven't either. I haven't I'm not either. seen the Battle Masters at all. I've seen Micro Masters once or twice. No Battle Well, like I said, like, if it wasn't for this going on, I probably would have went to, like, nine different... Targets and like six different WalMarts to find all this stuff, and you know, so and it's a bummer because when you do that, you get stuff from me too. And it's nice. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't do the hunting. It encourages thing, me to do it because I have to keep up with the Joneses. And right now we can't. I want to say an addendum no, to last week. I want to apologize that I didn't come up with this form of display in these two <laughs> last week <laughs> on the show. Well, that's cute. That's so good. That's really cute. Oh, I did want to mention that um, I don't know if they still have them in stock, but the Chosen Prime got in both of those figures uh, from last week in yes. or whatever they did. in stock. So if you are looking for them after the review last week, like make sure to, to check them out. And it they're probably, I think, the last ones to actually have them. So if you want it, definitely don't snooze on it or you won't be able to get it. So You could get them and you could get the awesome bull guy. The bull side swipe that just came out because I really want to get that from Chosen Prime. I just need more things for shipping. There you go. All right. Uh, well, thank you everyone in the chat tonight. Uh, thank you to Ron, Catherine, Randall, Carrie, Paul. Who else am I missing? Ron, Tony, and Jim. Is that everyone? Did you think Rodimus is in the and Rodimus Discord? from the Discord? Giving chat. me vindication. So, yes. So, thanks, Rob. Uh, and, Rodimus, uh, the helper. Thanks, Rob, for uh, for being on the show again. I appreciate it. And, um, thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, so we'll we'll see everyone next week. Are, are we doing another CCon next week? Or are we? Uh, it's not like we're probably going to do smoke screen, right? Sounds like smoke screen. Sounds okay. like smoke screen. Okay. I will have the figure, and they will not. It will what? be a change. A so flip. what I can do is, is I can take. All of the smoke screens that I have, <laughs> and like I can hold them up like on my camera, and then you can hold yours up. And yes, you'll put them on your little camera right. display. And, and you, I don't own any other smoke screens. The one smoke I don't. screen to rule them all. I don't. So. I don't own any other smoke screens. Robin had to actually be on to to show off the old MP smoke screen. I don't have the old one. I've already sold it. I do. Surprise. Oh wow! 
Look Perfect. At that. There we go. Perfect. Oh, we can compare by holding them up and making eye contact. It'll be awkward. It's going to be great. So, yeah. so tune in for that next week. <laughs> so, <laughs> As we, it just looks like we're staring at each other, holding up fingers. So so there you go. So, Ron, there, there you go. We planned it out for next week. So, And probably after that, CCONS. I'm just going to throw that one out there at some what? point. Yeah, probably CCONS. You do this guy that. someday. I've got this guy. Oh, it's yeah. like super old news, this bold, because it's been around forever. And yeah, we're due for another Bonpot show soon. Sure, so. we are. Been a while. Wait, like, Bonpot's like. Is that one dead yet? How did you get those? Series 5? Uh, I don't know. I guess it's been almost two months now. But what's weird is is I haven't still haven't seen those like in the stores, really. Nope, they have not hit stores. It's not crazy. really. Definitely not singles unless you're in the UK. That's crazy. So, anyway. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. And we will <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Uh, see you later.